What's up guys, my name is Cam, I'm a sports videographer. Today I'm gonna to be giving you guys some tips to help me start my sports videography journey. And I'm hoping you guys can apply this to your lives and that it can help you start yours. Let's get it. First tip I'm gonna give you guys is DM athletes, DM local teams, DM local high schools. DM these people and ask them to shoot a free video or take free photos for them. The reason you're doing this is so that you can build your portfolio and that you can gain credibility with future clientele. Don't be afraid to reach out to people. You could DM 20 people and if only one respond, that's a win because that's helping you build your portfolio. The first year of my career, I ended up shooting a ton of stuff for free and at the end of that, it helped me get some dope connections and even some better opportunities down the line. Next tip I have is connect with creatives. There are so many creatives in each state and you never know who they may know. When I go to games, I try to talk to anyone with the camera and this has set me up for success because down the line, if they need a job covered, they'll think of that person that came up to them. Also, you never know who someone is. They might be the person that has the ability to give you the opportunity you've been dreaming of. Tip number three is going to be shoot, shoot, and shoot. In order to get better, obviously you have to film a ton, you have to edit a ton. Another thing I recommend is just learn the basics of your camera. A lot of people don't even know why they're overexposing their videos. They don't know anything about ISO aperture and shutter speed. Knowing these things are vital because you don't want to get in a low light or high light situation and not know what to do. All right, tip number four is upgrade gear when you get the chance. Whenever you get the chance to upgrade gear, do it. This is something I wish I would have done earlier on in my career once I started understanding everything and how to operate a camera. This will help you with clients because you are providing a higher quality product and it will help you separate yourself in the market of other videographers. And whenever you upgrade, really take the time to understand the camera. You don't want to be at a football game confused because you're not knowing where your screen is bright or dark. All right. Those are just some simple tips to help you guys start right now. I hope this video provided you guys some value or some information that helped you out. If you have any questions, feel free to DM me on my Instagram. I respond to all my DMs. Let me know if you guys like this type of content or if you want me to just shut up and keep posting sports. We'll definitely not uh, shut up and dribble. Um, I would definitely not do that. Subscribe and stay tuned for content in the future. Appreciate you guys tuning in. Let's go.